Welcome to Jink Play TCG. My name's Landon, and here we play Jink. And today I am playing Big Worm. Big Worm has not had a great run. Hopefully, we can get a single victory out of this deck. I swear I play tested a heck ton with this deck, and it's just not working out for me. And it's frustrating me so much. It's still fun to play, but holy cow. Uh, maybe I play tested it so much that everyone just knows how to play against it. And because they're doing a phenomenal job. They really are. <sighs> I usually don't struggle this much recording some good matches of decks. But this one just does not want to work for me. And again, we're starting Orthworm. Worst possible start. Um, we do have a heavy ball, so maybe we've prized something that might be able to help us out here. Uh, but, yeah. We do have an Iono, so next turn, not our first turn, but our next turn, we'll be able to play that. And that might be able to help us out a bit. Uh, Cresselia, Ralts, Arceus. Okay. So, heavy ball first. Heavy ball gets us another Orthworm. Got it. Capturing Aroma. Capturing Aroma will... Uh, it gets us a Magnezone, which we don't necessarily want, but we don't want it so much. I'm going to grab it so that it will be on the bottom of the deck after I play this Iona. And turn. Um, we've got Beach Court still to play, but I didn't want to play it just yet. I didn't want to give my opponent the chance to retreat for free. Um, but I'm, I am going to play it before I, Iono. That, that's for sure going to happen. So they're going to Fog Crystal, probably for a Psychic Energy. So, oh, Mewtwo. Um, Cresselia is going to use the Crescent Glow attack, which will allow it to accelerate a ton of energy onto the field. And then its Phantom Laser will be doing 120. Um, so we really need a Magnezone next turn. Because I have to play down this basic energy before Iono. Um, and I'm going to play it on my primary Orthworm, obviously. So. They get three energy onto Mewtwo. Why not play all five? Get some on the Ralts. That's interesting. Beach Court, basic energy. Wait, did I just give myself my own death? No, not exactly. Iono. So I will refresh their hand for them. But also refreshes mine. So we get Magma Mai and Magnezone, but no rare candy. We need a rare candy top deck. Are we that lucky? Recent evidence points to no. So what's going to happen? Um, hmm. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I'm confused. It does only accelerate three. I think they should have put one on Arceus. Now, if they do have the Mewtwo V-Star, they do have KO potential on Orthworm. And with Starbirth, they possibly are grabbing that right now. Uh, the big question is, is that what they really want to do? Is that best for long game? Because they're going to have to discard energy from Mewtwo V-Stars attack uh but they're gonna be powerful regardless so yeah i'm just not very hopeful anymore i guess i don't know this deck has cost me a lot of hopefulness i guess uh but we'll just have to wait and see shadow rider calyrex making another appearance if i don't upload that one it's a deck that i had to fight against and i did poorly but it's probably going to get uploaded because I'm prepared. Today, actually, the day that this video probably goes out is my anniversary. My 10-year anniversary with my wife. We are going to celebrate. And so I am I am even spending the time to uh, record even more content. Don't go for Magma Might. Don't go for Magma Might. They're going for Magma Might because why wouldn't they? Uh, it's a KO. It's a free KO. Yeah, I get it. But, you know, um, I guess there's no reason not to Iono now. Um, so I am taking the time to pre-record even next week's videos so that I can just enjoy my weekend with what And we top-decked Rare Candy! 
Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, jeez. Oh, we would have had Magnazone. We would have. <laughs> I am going crazy. Come on, capturing aroma. Do your thing. Hey, we get a Magnazone. Well, at least we have Arvin, so next turn we can grab that rare candy. And all's good. <laughs> My luck. <sighs> okay, so where was I? 10 year anniversary. Pre-recording a ton of videos for you guys. It is currently 100 degrees outside and I am in my studio shed. Uh, and I, ha I turn off the AC so it stays, you know, so it's not so loud in here. But boy, does it get warm. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, does it get warm. And I'm doing my job searching so I can maybe find a job so I have an income. <sighs> or, or I hit 500 subscribers on YouTube. Then I can do YouTube memberships, give you guys like exclusive live streams and uh, do a podcast where I answer questions and like whatever you guys want me to do, I'll freaking do for your membership money and you guys can keep me afloat. But that doesn't seem very likely to that I would have enough people willing to pay me for these videos. Um, I, I don't know, maybe I have fans. I don't think so, but maybe I have enough fans. Um, you guys are all awesome, but you know, I understand. Things happen, I understand. Oh. Of course, Shining Arcana would get one more energy. Now that they now they can retreat into Shadow Rider Calyrex, and I'm not even going to get that KO. But you know they will possibly get a KO on me. No, they're just going to attack. Okay, 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 okay. Off the top deck, Arvin. Let's go. Grab us a rare candy and a bravery charm. Come on. Give us comeback. Some people would say don't call it a comeback. I say call it a freaking comeback. Let's do it, Magnazone. Give us stuff. <gasps> Two energy. Two energy's not bad. I will take it gladly. Thank you very much. And we will pass through doing 100 damage to Cresselia. Then we'll place 30 damage. Oh, I don't know. Shadow Rider Calyrex, probably. Then, if we get Radiant Alakazam, we can move that energy onto Cresselia. Take that KO. Right? Radiant Alakazam hasn't been KO'd. No. Okay. Um, but they'll probably KO Orthworm. We'll put up the Mew. We will Mysterious Tail. Then Serena, then Magnazone, I think. I think that's the best way to do it. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> Choosing new active Pokemon. Mewtwo, okay. Mewtwo does have one hit KO potential on Orthworm. So, well, I mean, just about any Pokemon does. But Mewtwo has to discard. So that's interesting, where Shadow Rider didn't have to discard. We're still going to take the one KO with Radiant Alakazam if we can. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting with this second Orthworm. What exactly is their plan there, right? So they discard two energy, I believe they need to. And see, to get the one hit KO on a full up Orthworm, they do need... Uh, vitality band with three energy oh they can discard it from wherever okay cool 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 oh no we're gonna put Mew up put the Mew up should we Serena then Mew maybe we should Serena then Mew discard up to three one and two discard those draw five okay we get another Mew we get a metal energy, so now we just gotta hit one. We didn't get another Orthworm, which does concern me a little bit. And we don't even get Radiant Alakazam, so we can't even get that done. Uh, let's see 
Well, first, Super Rod. Yes. One, two, three. Done. Cool. Now, Giga Magnet. And we get three Metal Energy. <sighs> Man. They hate me. That's what it is. They secretly hate me. <laughs> I couldn't get another Earthworm. So they give me all the metal energy I could handle, right? I'll retreat into Earthworm. And shoot through. Dealing 30 energy. I'm going to deal it to this guy. Just because I can. Hmm... See, I'm pretty confident they're not going to KO me this turn. I could be wrong. They could retreat into Mewtwo. Um, or into Calyrex, right? And Calyrex might be able to get... No, it, it definitely could attach an energy and um, accelerate one. And it could. But I'm not sure if they're thinking of that right now. But I can weaken the Mewtwo a bit. Uh, just doing some pings, and that could be enough, right? I'll probably get one more attack with this Orthworm, do 100 to this Mewtwo, put a th put 30 on this Mewtwo, right? So we'll be at uh, 60, so 220 HP left, and then that's just a Radiant Alakazam and two attacks, right? So that's kind of my thought. But yeah, Shadow Rider Calyrex could probably get the KO this turn. Because it is 10. Yeah, they only need 9 energy. So if they retreat and lose 2 energy, that's 1, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, they can get the KO with Shadow Rider. But do they see that? That's the main thing. They don't. Awesome. Just awesome. So then I can Arvin for a Nest Ball and uh, uh, grab an Orthworm with that and use Magnezone to start piling energy on that. So there we go with that. That's the plan. We get another Mew. We don't need another Mew. We need another Orthworm, sadly. I really wish I could just go with Radiant Alakazam right now. That would be beautiful, but I can't. I have to go Orthworm. Attach a Bravery Charm to it. And we are going to, going to Giga Magnet. We get no energy? None. I can't even attach that in good conscious. I have to go there. And then I will do another 100 to this Mewtwo. 30 onto that benched Mewtwo. Hopefully, I can get um, Radiant Alakazam next turn. Hopefully. Because right now, it's not looking great. Okay. Yeah, they're just attacking. They're discarding so much psychic energy. This deck just screams Radiant or uh, uh, Gardevoir EX. Or at least energy retrieval, you know? But we're going to put Mew up. Super Rod. Just energy. Just energy. Nothing but energy. Mew up. First, we're going to Mysterious Tail. We get Serena. Okay. Okay. Mysterious Tail. We get Rare Candy, Super Rod. We could Super Rod for a ton of energy right now. And we're going to. We could use that, though. We could definitely use another Magnemite. So Super Rod. Done. Now we're going to Serena. Discard. We get a shit ton of energy. Holy cow, is that a lot of energy. Giga Magnet. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three. Do I give them another prize without taking any myself? I'm going to say no. 120. We're going to KO this Mewtwo. We're overkilling it by way too much. But hopefully one of these two prizes will get us something to get that. Yes, Nest Ball would get us Radiant Alakazam and we can start firing off. That is pretty good stuff. Um, Shadow Rider Calyrex comes out. Um, let's see. I could do that. I could do that. Uh, so Nest Ball will get us. Do I have to go Magma Might again? I have to go Magma Might again. Mmm. Dang. Wait, was that 190? That's not very much. That's not very much. Wait, why did I put Mew out? Dang it. Capturing Roma could hit Tails. If this hits Tails, I'll be beautiful. Heads. Of course it hit Heads. Why wouldn't it hit Heads? Alright, Heavy Ball. Nothing. How valuable is that one prize right now? Nest Ball. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. And I'm probably wrong. More than likely, I am wrong. But I think it's worth it. One. Nest Ball. Beautiful. Nest Ball can come out. We can grab Magma Might with it. Done. And now we can shoot through. 100 damage to the Shadow Rider. 30 damage to the Mewtwo. And now we are two, two attacks away from KO and Shadow Rider. How many Serenas? We've only played two. So we've got two more. I don't think any of them are prized. In the prize that I remember seeing Iono and... Was Rare Candy prize? I remember seeing a Nest Ball. I don't know what the last prize was. Shoot. Why can't I remember that? It was two seconds ago. Ugh. All right. But I can... If I don't top deck a Orthworm, I'm going to start piling onto Magma Might. And 120, that's going to be my last attack somewhere, anywhere. But I got to have it, right? Shining Arcana, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They got at least one energy. So if they got two, that would be eight. Eight times three is 240. Plus 10 is 250. They're still missing. They're still missing the KO. Beautiful. Yes. But they can attack us. We can attack into them. We can take 10 energy from the Shadow Rider, put it onto the Mew. So then it's at uh, 80 damage. Holy cow. Is this really going to happen? What's our top deck? I don't know. I don't even know if I want to play that right now. Um, I can put 20 there. Because this shoot through will deal 30 to the Mewtwo. Uh, I need I need Rare Candy to be my last top deck here. What can this do? 30 damage. That's not enough. 30 damage is not enough. Oh, man. So I need... Uh, Serena top deck, I think. Um, and Mew to grab a rare candy. Because if they retreat, there's no way, right? If they don't, there's no way they're not retreating, right? I gotta be right about that, right? If they just swing... Oh, for a second, I thought they were just swinging. Oh, man. Please, just swing. 
just swing. I'll put Mew up. Gotta get that rare candy, right? I have to get the rare candy off Mew. I'll have 11 cards in deck. And I have to get the rare candy. And I have to top deck a Serena. This just is so unlikely to happen, period. So unlikely to happen. Um, I've got 60 HP, so they only need to discard one Psychic Energy. This isn't happening, is it? Did Orthworm seriously just go straight loss this whole week? This whole week, my anniversary week, Orthworm just went straight loss. That's it. Oh, man, that hurts so much. Mew. We get Switch. No. Mysterious Tail. No. We get Super Rod. That's not enough for me. Retreat into this Mew. Mysterious Tail. Another Switch. Man! Ah, oh, man! Can you believe Orthworm just went straight losing all week? All week just straight losing. We had some good matches. Good matches here. Every single one of them I think was a great match. My opponent did something clever or something along those lines. Something awesome happened. My opponent played great and we were doing good. But we just went straight dumpster fire. Losing this entire week. Ending on my 10 year anniversary with a another loss with Orthworm. Just hurts. Just hurts so much. I hope Big Worm serves you better. There's definitely things I could do to improve the deck, but I don't know what. Maybe it's just the fact that currently Orthworm does not have the support it requires in order to be good, right? Um, maybe. But beyond that, thank you so much for watching. If you stuck around this entire week watching me lose every single match, I appreciate you. Um, this was not easy for me, but it's gotta happen. This, I believe, is my first deck ever to not win a single match, except the uh, AI match and the short. That's it. That's all it won. I don't really count those as full matches, so this is the first deck on camera to lose every single match. I think... Even that Toxicrode EX deck that was better than I played it um, won at least one match. So thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to the channel to see what nonsense I play next week. Um, and be sure to jump in the Discord so we can hang out more one-on-one -on -one with some great people in there and have a lot of fun. And of course, until next time, keep playing jank.